So now we're gonna move on to installing Sage. We have to have all of Sage's requirements installed. You can check these by checking the versions on them. So you can run php-v, it'll pull up your version of PHP. You can run node-v, it'll tell you your version of node. Checks out, gulp-v. My version's good on that. And then run bower-v. And my version's good on that. What about you? Cool. All right, so we're both up to date on those. Now we're going to add soil. You might want to check the latest version, so I'm going to pull up that real quick. See what version soil's on. Looks like it's still on 3.7. So just copy this command and run it. Actually, we're going to have to back out to the root again, then run it from there. So it's got to be big. Yeah, go back to, yep. All right, and you can see that soil was installed, so it was obviously added to Composer. Alright, now we're just going to configure Sage. So let's go into Sage by running that cd command. And we'll copy number 2, npm install. Run that one. This one usually takes a minute. Quite a minute. Quite a minute. It's one of the longer ones. I'm in. I got in. I got in. I got in. Alrighty. Next command is going to be bower install. This one's definitely faster than the npm install. Now we got gulp. And depending on how fast your computer is, gulp might take several minutes. Or several seconds. So pull up your GitHub app. And just find your project. One easy way to do it is just find it in terminal and then you can run open space period. And then just drop this into your GitHub left sidebar. Should just be able to create an ad. Then summary for your commit, do init commit, commit to master, and publish. Now we could always just run git straight from terminal. I like to use the app because it's a bit simpler and 
smaller the learning curve the better sometimes I think it works pretty well